ओके दिस इज डॉक्टर फॉरम एम जोशी फ्रॉम जी एच पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वाला विद्यानगर एंड आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू द फिजिक्स सब्जेक्ट इन दैट माई पर्टिकुलर द टॉपिक इज ऑप्टिकल फाइबर वाई शुड वी स्टडी ऑप्टिकल फाइबर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाव अर डेज वेन वी कॉल बाय अ सेल फोन और बाय अवर टेलीफोन देर इज अर इज अ वाइड अमाउंट ऑफ क्लैरिटी एंड लो डिस्टर्बेंस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द यू कैन से द ओल्डर डेज इवन द प्रॉब्लम्स आर सॉल्व वेरी रेपिडली और वन मोर थिंग से वेन दिस विद दिस टाइप ऑफ टेलीकास्ट आर अकरिंग और से दिस टाइप ऑफ से इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज देर द स्पीड इज रियली फास्ट एंड वॉट इज द रीजन द रीजन इज द द प्रीकर्सर द प्रीकर्सर बिहाइंड दिस पर्टिकुलर मिरेकल्स इज द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर एक्चुअली इट्स अ हेयर लाइन हेयर टाइप स्ट्रेंड The early history and development of the optical fiber. It it says that in 1870, a British physicist John Tyndale demonstrated that light can travel through the curve of a uh, stream of the water. So the luminous water stream became the precursor of the uh, optical fiber. Here in the figure, you can see the luminous water stream, and uh, the light is guided through the optical uh, th- through that particular uh, stream. In 1950 after a long time Hopkins and Kapani developed the fle- flexible fiberoscope which was the precursor of the uh, real one endoscope which was used by the medical world in the remote illumination and viewing interior of the human body in 1966 Charles Kau and George uh, Hockman proposed the transmission of information over the glass fiber but the attenuation was very heavy at that time so by 1977 the commercial communication systems based on optical fibers made their appearance and uh, it has come to the uh, nowadays place the fiber optics it is a communication technology that works by sending uh, signals down hair like thin strands as i said earlier fibers and that uses light as a carrier of information now what is optical fiber it is a cylindrical wave guide made up of transparent dielectric may be glass or clear plastic which guides light waves along its length by the total internal reflection and its diameter is approximately 70 micrometer now what is the principle of this fiber optical cable total internal reflection is the principle of uh, this cable it is the phenomenon in which the light is totally reflected from a denser to rarer medium boundary it is known as the total internal reflection denser to rarer medium means what it means that uh, denser medium has the larger refractive index and rarer medium has the lower refractive index these are the two well known examples of total internal reflection the first one here it shows the uh, rainbow you can say that when uh, the sunlight passes through the water drop the rain drop there is a r- total internal two, two times a uh, total internal reflection and one can see the upside down rainbow and in another one there is uh, it, it is actually a picture taken from uh, the uh, below the surface of the water and it is actually a very colorful picture of the tortoise Now, what is the physics of light? Before we understand the total internal reflection geometry, we should know certain terms. The first is the normal. Normal is an imaginary line perpendicular to the interface of the two materials, say two uh, matters. The second one is the angle of incidence. It is the angle of incident ray to the normal, and the angle of reflection. It is the angle of refracted ray to the normal. The critical angle is the angle of incident that will produce a ninety degree. angle of refraction now what is tir total internal reflection there are actually three so three uh, conditions which can occur in tir which can occur during the internal reflection when the light ray incidence between the boundary of the two material if the theta i theta 1 or theta i say incident angle is less than the critical angle then the ray refracts in the rarer medium if theta 1 is a uh, equal to theta c that is the critical angle then light the ray travels parallel to the boundary between the rarer and denser medium which makes the refractive index at 90 degree if theta 1 is greater than theta c then the ray ref- ray is reflected to the denser medium as you can see it is uh, in that case the uh, the total output will be the zero 
now in this uh, as we said that the second case plays a very important role in the uh, fiber optical communication so uh, this rays that experiences a uh, total internal reflection they obey laws of reflection only so snell's law can be written as uh, sin theta 2 equal to mu 1 upon mu 2 uh, into sin theta 1 actually snell's law says that mu 1 sin theta 1 equal to mu 1 sin theta 2 the sin c where theta 1 is theta c that is the incident angle is equal to the critical angle and uh, the reflected angle is 90 degree then sin theta c equal to mu 1 upon mu 2 upon mu 1 when uh, light enters one end of the fiber how it works it undergoes successive total internal reflections from the side walls and travels down the length of the fiber and here we have shown the pictorial pictorial representation of uh, this uh, this type of uh, communication say uh, here is the principle of total internal reflection you can see the animation it shows that uh, you are uh, you are entering the light ray into the fiber optics cable and it is going on and on and on uh, with uh, successive total internal reflections uh, into the fiber optic cable now what is the structure of the fiber optic cable it has three main coaxial regions so the first one is core the second one is cladding and the third one is buffer coating the buffer co the core is the innermost cylindrical region in is the light guiding region known as core its diameter is approximately equal to 8.5 to 62.5 micrometer depending upon the applications the core diameter can be varied uh, the second uh, layer is cladding it is a coaxial uh, layer to the core and uh, it is made up of the laser refractive index material which has uh, the uh, lower refractive index with, with respect to the core refractive index the diameter is uh, approximately 125 micrometer the refractive index is again i as i said it is the lower lower than uh, the core refractive index uh, the buffer coating it is the outermost region which protects the fiber from surroundings and its diameter may be 250 to 900 micrometer actually the buffer coating or sheath it carries uh, three or four more layers which work as the protection jacket to the inner one fiber around the buffer jacket there is a layer of strength members called kevlar which increases the tensile strength again an outer protective jacket is filled with polyurethane which prevents moisture from the atmosphere how it works when light is launched into the core and striking the core to the cladding interface at an angle greater than the critical angle there will be uh, reflected into the core and uh, due to this uh, angle of incidence and the reflection the ang the light will be continuously rebounding and uh, total internal reflection occurs and it propagates through the fiber what is the importance of cladding actually the cladding maintains the uniform size of the fiber protects the walls of the uh, fiber from chipping and reduces the size of the cone of light that will be trapped in the fiber uh, uh, the propagation of light says that the diameter of the fiber is very small so we cannot use bigger light sources for launching light beam into it that's why it is actually the diameter is of the order of micrometer so leds and laser diodes are the ideal choice for uh, as a light launcher even in the case of small size uh, sources a focusing lens has to be used to concentrate the beam to the fiber core uh, uh, light propagation can be understood in the on the basis of the ray uh, of the ray model ray model says that according to the uh, according to the ray model light rays entering the fiber strikes the core core clad interface at the different angles the rays travel through the fiber via a series of tirs and emerge out from the exit in because of this negligible loss during the tir that is total internal reflections the fiber can carry light uh, light waves over longer distances thus the fiber acts as a wave guide and known as a light guide or say light pipe the total internal reflection 
at the fiber wall can occur only if this two cartic to these two conditions are satisfied first is n1 is greater than n2 n1 is n1 is the refractive index of the core n2 is the refractive index of the cladding phi phi is the incident angle at core cladding interface so the phi at core cladding interface should be less than the phi c where phi c is the critical angle for particularly for core and cladding medium uh, here is uh, the cone which shows the acceptance cone what do you mean by what we mean by acceptance cone we say that at core and cladding uh, when we uh, up launch the light into the core we should have the, we should have the light ray at a particular incident angle from the core to the cladding in order to follow in order to have the critical uh, angle so uh, this is the maximum area which the uh, from which the light can be launched into the core now let us go to the board for the next mathematical derivation as i told you that uh, the light the here is the core and here is the cladding for in the fiber optics cable core has n1 refractive index cladding has n2 refractive index and when th this is the coaxial cable and this is the clay Uh, the core refractive index is n1 the cladding refractive index is n2 and here is the central axis now when i want that if i zo if i uh, do a better picture then i'll say that at this point i'll have the incident angle and what i want is that that at this point at this normal i need a total internal reflection now this angle should be less than or uh, sorry greater than or equal to phi c now in order to have this angle greater than equal to phi c i need this angle at air core interface very larger than a particular angle called theta max what i want to emphasize that at air core interface we need to have we do not need any type of total internal reflection at core cladding interface we need the total internal reflection so here in this triangle abc when i have when i apply the snell's law at uh, the core cladding interface what will i get sin of theta i say actually phi c which is equal to uh, say sin of theta r or say 90 minus phi c and this should be multiplied with the core cladding core and cladding refractive indices now when you say that n1 sin phi c is equal to n2 sin 90 minus phi c this is actually theta i this theta i should be dependent upon this theta max and this theta max is in this particular triangle it is equal to this sin phi c so when ultimately when we get the equation for uh, cos phi c cos phi c is equal to 1 minus sin phi c and uh, sorry 1 minus sin square phi c and under root of that and uh, as I, as we know that cos phi c is uh, cos phi c is the equation is the angle of the uh, angle at the core cladding interface and when what we get is n2 
डिवाइडेड बाय एन वन सो साइन फाइ सी इज अल्टीमेटली वन माइनस एन टू स्क्वेर अपॉन एन एन वन स्क्वेर द होल ऑफ अंडर रूट एंड दैट्स वाई वेन वी डिराइव द एंगल थीटा इन मैक्स से इट इज द मैक्सिमम एंगल एट विच द लाइट इज एक्सेप्टेबल इन साइड द फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल इज थीटा इन मैक्स विच इज इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स ऑफ अंडर रूट ऑफ एन वन स्क्वेर माइनस एन टू स्क्वेर सो दिस इज द दिस इज कॉल्ड द एक्सेप्टेंस एंगल एंड द न्यूमेरिकल एपर्चर इज साइन ऑफ थीटा इन मैक्स acceptance angle and numerical aperture they are the major characteristics of uh, the fiber optics cable one can see here that the acceptance angle is the maximum angle that a light ray can have relative to the axis of the fiber and propagate down the fiber that is phi in max maybe some notations are different phi in max is equal to sin inverse of under root of n1 square minus n2 square so the fractional refractive index or say relative refractive index that is given by delta delta is equal to n1 minus n2 divided by n1 and mathematically we can derive that uh, uh, the numerical aperture is equal to under root of 2 n1 square delta in order to guide light effectively the relative uh, refractive index should be very very less than 1 and the numerical aperture determine the light gathering ability of the fiber that is the very important characteristics of the any of the fiber optical material the numerical aperture can be given by sin of theta in max is equal to under root of n1 square minus n2 square in terms of delta the relative reflective index na is equal to under root of 2 n1 square delta na is a measure of the amount of the light that can be accepted by a fiber it depends only on two uh, refractive indices and not on the physical dimension of the fiber the larger the na the larger the acceptance of the light by the core actually when we sh when we see the the acceptance cone of any fiber we can say that it is the twice of the acceptance angle so in three dimensional in the in the twice of the acceptance angle can be done uh, can be accepted by the fiber itself the numerical one uh, we can uh, do the mathematical example an optical fiber core and cladding have uh, refractive indices of 1.545